What's up, YouTube? Menace Effects Productions. Um, I'm going to do a little tutorial for y'all today. Uh, basically, going to be my sampling part two. So, I'm going to show y'all how to sample with the MIDI controller. Something kind of quick. Uh, I pulled up a song here in Edison, and this part, this section right here, I basically time stretched it a little bit, pitch shift. But I'll let y'all hear it real quick. So, I don't know what the hell she's saying, but sounds pretty dope to me if you go here to channels add one click the FPC we're gonna use this to make it like a virtual MPC over here um, I'm using my Kai MPK 49 so I'm only gonna be able to use the first three pads and up just the way I have my controller set up because it doesn't have all four 16 or whatever um, I'm sure there's an easier way to do this stuff where you don't have you can have stuff preset, but I don't really mess with it too much. I'm using Reason a lot more now anyway, so now on your pads, make sure you have cut one and then buy one. So whenever you hit another pad, it's going to switch off. So I've already done a tutorial with the MPD, but I'm going to kind of show you how to sample with it. All right, so let's just find a couple, couple chops. That works. That loop point's good enough for me. So we got that right there. Alright, so we only got seven chops. Now we're gonna move on to another part. Uh, 
All right, now I have the samples where I want them. I'm just gonna kind of, I've already made the beat pretty much. I'm just gonna kind of go over the verse and the hook for y'all real quick and show you what I did. Um, for the verse, it's pretty simple. It's just gonna be, hold on, gotta turn that up. I messed up. All right, so just go ahead and watch the pads. So you can see which ones I trigger. Pretty much that's the verse. Um, I have it sped up a lot faster, so I guess it's more... So it's just like that. I, I changed the tempo to 80 just because I want to be moving things a little bit faster. The intro, I just hit a couple of the other pads. Um, for the hook, uh, I think it's just... Kind of like that. Um, you'll see where I'm getting at. Uh, drums, pretty simple. Just match it on here, let you hear the verse. That's the verse, just like I showed you. The hook. So that's pretty simple. Uh, the intro starts off. I have a reverse crash to drop into the verse. I have crashes um, pretty much every two bars. Have a little drum roll, drops into a crash towards the end of the end of the fourth bar, and that pretty much goes throughout. And the hook, I have some toms going on, and um, toms and crashes. Then it drops back into the verse. So, all in all, pretty simple beat. I know I didn't go too in depth on on making it right here, but I mean, you pretty much get the idea from the previous tutorial. That's how you use the use the FPC. I don't know exactly how to change the change the pitch in here. Um, I pretty much just did it inside of Edison. I just selected the sample I wanted, went to tools, time stretch pitch shift. Here I have it pitched up uh, two semitones. I turned the multiplier to the left a little bit so it sped it up some, got me to about 60. I went ahead and put it on 80 because I was hitting the pads faster than what they were so chopping off extra pieces and that pretty much set it right so that's it I'm gonna let the beat play you know if y'all like it rate comment subscribe tell me what you think peace